What's up, YouTube? Happy Valentine's Day. Today is February the 14th. And today we're going to be talking about two specific coins. Those are VTHO and Reef. And I'm going to be specifically talking about these two coins because uh, these two coins have the most traction on my YouTube studios, which probably means that most people are invested in these two coins at the moment since they have become quite popular uh, recently. Uh, okay, and before I get started again, I would like to talk about my coin analysis maker G page over here. It's on the Discord group. We have our own Discord group called Viral Pumps. And right now we're supporting VTHO. And we got into VTHO at the 0 0.016 level. We're all still currently holding, which is over here. And uh, we've currently made 0 0.008 gains, which means we've made like 600 to 800% of gains if you sold at the all-time high. So do check that out. Every single night at 7 p.m., I post free analyses over here. Um, last night, I spent two and a half hours analyzing these charts, as you can see. So um, I, I'm most likely going to move to YouTube Live at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time sometime soon. That way, a lot of people can see what I'm doing and see how I really uh, do the charts live in a live scenario. And you guys can learn from that. And that'll be current market uh, situation. So you guys can possibly get into trades at that point in time if you want to. Of course, trade at your own discretion since trading is uh, risky. Now, um, right now I'll be looking at a VTHO. And then after VTHO, we'll talk about Reef. Uh, so VTHO right now, um, it's made its new all-time high. And right now, VTHO is currently trying to find its own structure. Because it's never been in this area before, it's uh, it has to form its own structure, and those will give us good entry points. If you're still holding VTHO, you should still keep holding it, in my opinion, because it hasn't done anything as such to show us that it's going to be coming all the way down. Uh, now, I'll try to find some structure right now. So as you can see, there was, a, and you guys can watch this process as I do it. So there was a slight trend line over here. If this comes down to this area again, there could be rejection. Right, I'm going to draw the Fibonacci retracement from the high to the low, and I'm going to see right now what this does when it comes to this region at the 50 to 61.8, which it currently is, and there has been a reaction at the 50 of the Fibonacci retracement zone. Um, right now, it is making a downtrend on the one hourly, it's broken that downtrend, so it looks like the 50 zone over here there was a strong reaction on the 50 zone. On the 50 zone, there's a strong reaction. It has bounced, it has closed above. And right now we have this 50 zone as a major support, I would say. Uh, so now potential entry for VTHO. If you're still holding VTHO, keep holding it because it hasn't showed us any decrease in price. So what could happen over here is, um, I'll show you exactly what's gonna happen. Since it's broken out, it can retest the 50 again and go back up. And the 50 zone will be at 0 0.0057 so that could be a good entry point it could just go back up again i doubt the first scenario uh most likely the second scenario uh third scenario is if it breaks down hits the 60 goes up and fourth scenario is if it pulls a really heavy retracement towards that trend line and that trend also matches uh the previous zone which is a horizontal zone as you can see over here right so these are the four scenarios. Um, as of right now, scenario two, three, and four are more uh, likely the outcome. Um, I'm only saying this because uh, I don't think scenario one's a situation because our trading volume is quite low. It's at how much? 83 million or so over here. And when we made this all time high, our trading volume was 2.5 billion, which is insane. 2.57, yeah, 2.5, 2.7 billion dollars made this move to the upside. So this was definitely a big whale that made this move to the upside. If we want to make moves like that again, we need a much larger trading volume to get up there. So uh, entries again, I'll talk about it. Um, I would say a good entry would be at this region, the retest of the trend line. So come up, retest trend line, also the 50 Fibonacci region at 0 0.0056. Um, or it could just keep going down. We'll see what it does. But right now, if you're holding VTHO, there's no reason to sell it. Uh, if you want to enter, this could be a good reg uh, region, 0 0.0056 region. Okay, so we'll go to Reef next. And what Reef is doing. Okay, so as we said before, Reef is making an ascending channel. 
uh, this was a major resistance zone which is reacted to twice as you can see over here it's reacted to twice and it's made a double top right which caused a push to the downside retest the double top and push to the major support zone over here uh, this pattern is also a Where's the tool? I probably missed it. Yeah, here you go. Uh, brush. So this pattern is also a uh, cup and handle pattern over here, which signifies a, a bullish pattern, potentially. Right? So what we'd expect over here is um, for, uh, uh, what's this thing called? Reef. So for Reef, this was the best entry you could possibly get. If you missed this entry at the 88 region, um, I'm sorry to hear that. Because if you entered over here, you could have potentially, if you just wanted to trade it, you could have entered over here and ridden the wave up. And that would be a 20% gain. Um, but you've missed that entry. However, if you want to enter again, since it is making a, a bull flag currently in this region, what you can expect is a move to the upside, a break, and a retest to the upside. So this would be the next best entry as of now. I would say the 105 if it decisively breaks up and comes back down. Right now we're in this channel. Um, over here, we could see another move to the downside, to the 0 0.00090 region, which would also be a good buy, in my opinion, if the support holds. Right? So if you look at the different support zones right now, I'll try to take away all these things because it's getting a little complex. Okay, so I'll take away all these things. So right now, uh, our support zone correlates with the Fibonacci retracement at the 61.8. It correlates with this trend line. It correlates with the major trend line as seen over here. So it has a lot of correlations right now. So it has three or four or five different support zones. It's making this uh, cup and handle structure and it's also making a bullish flag. So right now, Reef is technically on the chart still bullish. It is still characterized as bullish. It is not giving us any reason why it would uh, be bearish. The only scenario that would be bearish is if it clearly and decisively breaks below this region and this trend line and this 61.8. So right now, um, that's what I would say for Reef. If you want to enter Reef and it retouches the 88 region or 89 region, that may be a good area for entry. Um, as of now, if it retouches us and shows rejection at that point, you don't want to just enter blindly. And uh, yeah, I believe that's everything for Reef. Yeah, oh, one more thing. We look at trading volume to see if it's gone up. And right now, trading volume is at 104, 105 million, which is good. We want trading volume to go all the way up. Like, as you see over here, in this previous jump, uh, trading volume was 500 million. So right now, we're one-fifth of that trading volume. So if we want to see a decisive move to the upside, we have to see trading volume going up, which means new money has to come into the market. In an example, hedge funds or large institutions or large retailers. And that's the only way we're going to see the price to increase. And I know Bitcoin has currently tried to attempt to, has currently attempted fifty thousand uh, dollars. Maybe if Bitcoin pulls back a little bit or stagnates for a bit, then money from Bitcoin can go into Reef at that point. Today is also a Sunday, so today would be a, a, a a slower trading day since hedge funds may, might not be getting into uh, trades on a Sunday so tomorrow is a Monday it's a working business day so we'll see hopefully new volume will be pumping into reef uh, tomorrow allowing us to hit our take profit levels I hope that helped guys um, if it was too um, if it was too complex or too in, uh, in the technical aspect I apologize I was just telling you guys what I saw over here but uh, if that made a, if that helped you guys decide whether or not you still want a whole reef, um, yeah, that'd be a good, you know, yeah, basically. All right, I'm gonna end this now. See you guys. Bye. Have a good one.